Yo, for sure. Uh, what made you? What made you get into music? You make good music. Shit, I was. Everything that I pretty much did, it was just for fun. Like when I made music at the time of me making music or making my first song. Like you can still look this up to this day, like on SoundCloud. <laughs> um, I was I was doing YouTube videos and I was doing like skits and stuff at the time. This was like 2016. This was like yeah, like 2016. I was doing skits and stuff like that, and I was searching up tight beats on my computer to put in the background of my videos. Mm -hmm. And I ended up searching up a tight beat that I was actually fucking with. At the time, I didn't even have like studio equipment. I just had like a microphone, like an Xbox microphone, like this or something like that. And um, I'm like, yo, I like these this beat, whatever. Woo -woo. So I ended up calling my homie, and um, he put me on like a like a recording program that I could record on, and it was called Audacity. And um, I ended up putting the beat up in there, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna see what I can do with this rap shit. And I started rapping, and I made a song called Foreign. And um, if you ever get the time, you can look it up on SoundCloud. The song horrible. It's it's, it's ass, but <laughs> but some ass music go viral. Yeah, nah, that shit was definitely not going viral. <laughs> <laughs> not 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 during not during that time. Nah, definitely. I got I got a little buzz in school though around the time when I dropped that motherfucker. That's good though. You, you niggas was liking your shit. Yeah. Sometimes trash music. I'm saying sometimes trash music. Sometimes trash music can be good. Sometimes to some people yeah. might enjoy it. This nigga named uh you know Miles. This nigga dropping trash music. Niggas fucking with it. <laughs> You can make yeah, I feel like if you got the uh, if you got the audience, you can pretty much pull yeah. anything off at this point. Yeah, no matter what it is, no matter what it is, niggas don't care no more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they don't care no more. Niggas do not care no more. But yeah, man, that's that's good that you actually got into music though, because you're pretty good now. You evolved it over time. So once you start doing, once you start doing something, bro, this is why a lot of people give up on themselves so too fucking easy. Right. When you start, you supposed to start off like that. Just like yeah. when you start work, just like when you start working out, your muscles are weak as hell. You gotta up your level up. So the mm -hmm. more you work out, you level up. The more you make music, you level up. You're supposed to start off bad. A lot of niggas you don't understand that. Put it start off that way. There's, there's no shame of starting to, from level zero, nigga. That's because most people you know? be comparing themselves too much, man. Like when I first started, I like couldn't nobody tell me my shit was trash. Now that I look back, it's trash. But at the time of me making that shit, I thought I was the hardest motherfucker in my city. <laughs> and couldn't nobody tell me different. But just me having that mindset of thinking I was the toughest motherfucker out here, that's what got me to being better with the music shit now. You know, and that's what a lot of people be failing to realize. They get into, you know, niches and, you know, different things they want to get into, but they don't believe that they can fucking do it. They don't believe in themselves. Like, and now you know we got social media, we got the phones. People can just compare mm -hmm. themselves all day long. Yeah, so yeah. You gotta eliminate those distractions, man. You gotta right. always believe in yourself and know that you're the best at anything you do. Like it don't make you cocky, you know, knowing that you're the best. Like you're supposed to feel like the best. You know, mm -hmm. anything you do, you want to feel like you better than any motherfucker out here doing it. Facts. And a lot of niggas out got a lot of potential out here. I see a lot of potential in you, Jay. That ass. I see a lot of potential. You when you start over with that music, I got to see a lot of potential. I see. Yeah, I, I can see it. That, bro. You got great. I believe. I believe everybody. I certainly believe everybody has potential, but it won't go for that extra fucking round, that extra push. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel everybody got a potential. I believe everybody got power. Exactly. Everybody got that shit within them, but a lot of people they're so stuck and fucking programmed to the system. These niggas don't want to pull themselves out and just, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It, it, it's, it's hard. It's not easy. I think it come down to how bad you really want it, though. Facts. I think true, that's what true, it really true, come, true. comes down to. Like, but if you really want this shit bad enough, you ain't gonna let nobody tell you shit. You ain't for the, you ain't for the settle for nothing you know you don't deserve. Facts. Facts. But um, that's a fact. Uh, you make music, right? What what type of zone you in? Like what type of zone you get in? <laughs> it just it all depends. Most of most of my music, like when I when I used to make music like heavy, I used to be getting hired in a motherfucker. So <laughs> whatever my mom was at that around that time, it was just gonna be. But I'm very versatile with my music. So like I, I do all type of music. You know, it, it all depends on what I'm feeling in that moment or whatever the beat is telling me. True. The beat will tell you your imagination will work too. Exactly. So, so okay. 
what is like what is what is the um when you make music right mm -hmm. what is what is like the main message you 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 you're trying to push for the youth it all depends like most most of my music like i just be on some just for fun shit. but if i'm if i'm trying to like get a message across like i got a few records that i made where i'm trying to get a message across like for example the, the cs1 record when i made that record i wanted to really show people that i could make other music besides the bullshit that's yeah. out here you know what i mean because most of my music is mostly like just like worldly type of music like shit that you would normally hear around the world type stuff but I wanted to show people because a lot of motherfuckers had me fucked up thinking that you know I just made one type of music. I wanted to show them like I can I can really spit for real, you know. <laughs> so really for me, like I just like making people feel good with my music. Like I mean, you just really gotta tap in and 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 hear it. I got music for every situation you you going through. If you want to turn up, you can listen to me. If you want to hear something real, I got a few records like that. So um, I'm just an all around artist, man. Okay, okay, true, true, true to the people, true to the people. <laughs> Very know, um, okay. Do you put you do push a lot of positivity in your music too as well? You do, you yeah, do. Yeah, I think those are the ones that be slept on though. Them should be bumping. Yeah, <laughs> them should be is. bumping. For those sure. The ones. I rock. I rock with the music. I rock with the music for sure. I do. Uh, so you say the one? Okay. Um, what is your opinion on? Like what does music do to what does music do to the mind mentally and physically and emotionally and spiritually? I think it depends on what you're listening to. Most of the rap music though today is is is, is poison to the mind for sure. I mean I don't think that's like no coincidence. I feel like a lot of the rap music that that is out here today is is poison to the mind. The things that people talk about it's all poison to the mind, including half of the music that I made is poison to the mind. And I'm not True. afraid to put myself out there and say that, you know. But it mm -hmm. all comes down to environmental things. You know, I was always raised and born on on hip hop music. That's all I was listening to growing up. You know, that was all I was prone to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I got older to realize how poison it is though. You know, now that I'm in my twenties and I'm able to, you know, analyze and see things a lot different from a different lens, I can realize that it is poison to the mind. So I think it do depends on what you're listening to. And I, and I recommend that a lot of people start um, tuning into different things because, you know, what you put into your ears and what you put into your mind is, is it can affect you and influence you. Facts. It will, will, will make you not act right. Yeah. It's not acting different. It's acting, acting dumb, really. It really makes you stupid, really. For sure. So, facts. Um, it will mess with your soul too, mess with your mental. Um, that's why a lot of these guys running wild now, man. Listen to all that drill <laughs> shit. <laughs> Thanks. Um, do you what is what is something you want out of music? Honestly, man, like I said, it's just for fun. You know, that's like I'm I'm at the point now, like I'm not I'm not rushing nothing. Like I feel like I'm right where I need to be at the right time. Um, God is healing me and doing a lot of great things for me right now. Currently, you know, he just let me, he's allowing me to sit back and see things different. You know, when I was younger, I used to, like I said, I just wanted clout. I just wanted to blow up and be big and have a lot of money and have girls and, you know, the typical guy shit that we want growing up. Now that I'm grown and older, man, the, the things I wanted back then is totally different than what I want now. You know, I just want peace and I just want to take care of my family. And if, if the music route is what it's going to be, then that's what it's going to be. But that ain't something that I'm really pushing towards. You know, my yeah, main okay. goal is really to just motivate and inspire as many people around the world as possible. That type of stuff. I'm finna put out some more. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop probably like one more project. And then um, I'm gonna start pushing out music videos. You gotta bring those back. You, you, you gotta bring those back. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like I'm doing music videos like because it's like, I feel like I didn't did everything in my city, bro. I don't like shooting music videos in my city no more. So you want to, you want to travel more? Yeah, cause it's not it's nowhere to really shoot videos here. Like I didn't shot all throughout my block. I didn't shot videos all throughout my block. Like nobody want to keep seeing me shoot videos on my block. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't shot videos downtown in my city. I didn't shot videos like I mean, of course I can probably find locations or whatever, but I don't know. I like I like going to different. Like ever since I traveled and started like shooting videos in different cities and shit. You don't want to. You don't want to shoot video. Your yeah, yeah, it gets it gets boring. Yeah, <laughs> it gets boring. Yeah, boring, I, 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 coming back. 
<laughs> um, what is, what is like shooting a music video? Like, what are the steps to like shoot a music video? How is it set up from your experience? Uh, man, when I shot the video, the CS1 video, that yeah. shit took what eight eight hours. That shit took eight hours. That was the longest video shoot I ever did in my fucking life. Like literally. By I came back own? and I slept good as fuck. Um you yeah. Have a team? No, I had a team, of course. Yeah, I had a team. Cause they had drones and all type of shit when I shot that video. Um that took us that took us, man. We we was out all day shooting that video. Because what happens is like when you shoot a music video, you gotta get like a so multiple different scenes. Yeah. You gotta do multiple different scenes, and then not only that. You gotta sing the song all day long. Like, by the time I was done with that music video, I didn't want to hear that fucking CS1 song ever. Like, I <laughs> Cause I was singing it all day. <laughs> they don't want to see CS1 all fucking day. Then you gotta stop. Then they gotta get another scene from a different angle. All right, stand right there. Then they gotta rewind the song. You gotta sing the shit all over again to the shit done. That shit took all day. Damn, I know it's, it's probably definitely you have to literally match up, like you gotta match up, literally match up everything, the yeah. wording and and damn, it was, it was it was crazy. And then I shot I shot a lot of videos that um uh, that like that week, but that was the longest video I ever shot. Like that shit, that shit was crucial. Damn, yo, that's it's crazy. Like you gotta get the angles, you gotta yeah. yo. And that shit fucking man, I, I think that was probably the most expensive video I done paid for. Cause I'm usually like, I used to have my I used to have my homies uh because I have a camera, I own a camera, so I used to have my homies just like do the videos for me and I would edit them myself. But uh I think that video that video cost me like two thousand dollars. That video was expensive. Yeah. Number one, because I was in Florida, two because I was using a drone, and three because the people that shot my video, they had to kind of like go a little long way to come down and shoot it for me. So, mm-hmm. and it was a two. There was a. It was only two people that shot it. They was like working together, but they they real dope. It was some real cool people. One of the That's... coolest people I met since I was out there. Damn. Yeah. That's two grand for a music video. Yeah. Hours. That video was sweet. That was a dope video, man. And them guys shot shot videos for a lot of people. Now they do like other stuff now, like um entertainment type videos or boxes and things of that nature. Mm. That's wild. That's in- it's interesting though, yo. Like now, do they play? Do they? I, I'm actually. Do they play the song while you're you know singing it? Yeah, they play the song and then you have to sing like over the song. Oh. And then you do that process. Over, over and over and over again, again in different spots. Right. Yeah. No, that's. I know that shit is definitely annoying, yo. I know you yeah, was yeah. tired after that. Exhausted, bro, boy. I went, I went straight to sleep. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? This shit is crazy. Then it was hot as hell. And then I was getting. I, I had to get on trains. And then the, the the crazy thing is, the video took what eight nine hours to shoot, but the music video is only two minutes. So you you shooting what? for eight nine yes you shooting for eight nine hours but the song was only two minutes, so all those scenes that you was doing for those all those hours, they're only taking bits and pieces out of those scenes to make it mm. all one music. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Music videos is, is, is yeah they're fun some of them but after a few of them scenes you get tired of hearing that song over and over. You, <laughs> you want to do some other shit. <laughs> you like fuck that. It's very interesting. I, I can imagine. I, I can see. I can picture. I can. I can definitely like imagine that picture, yo. I do see artists. I would see like little like cutscenes of artists doing that music videos and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? I wonder what it's like. I, I'm kind of glad you actually, you actually broke it down. You know what I'm saying? Bro- broke it down. Actually, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's oh, that's eight hours, two grand. Damn, yo, that's that's oh man, that's a lot of work. It's a lot that's of work. A, it, it's shocking, man. It is mind blowing. Like, damn, yo, this for a two minute music video. Exactly. Cause I'm used to doing like hood type videos where you just 
we just get a few scenes and I go home and I chop that motherfucker up myself. But when I paid for that video, but I also have videos that was like real, real, like straight to the point. Like, um, I don't know if you've seen the no auto video. Yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, um, that that video didn't take take much. And I only got like probably we was in one location. So that's the only reason why I didn't take much. We was in one building and we just shot like a few scenes. We probably got like 10 scenes with that video. And um, mm. yeah, that was a that was a fun one though. I actually enjoyed that video kind of better than the CS1 one. Hmm. Damn, that's, 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 yo, it's a little overwhelming, damn, I can't yeah. imagine, I can't, would you ever sign to a label, like, if somebody uh, right now, like, yo, we heard your music, and they hit, somebody hit you up, and they say, yo, we want to sign you, would you do it? If it's the right deal, I mean, I don't really have a problem with signing to a label, it's just got to be the right shit in there. If it's the right deal, then I, I wouldn't mind at all. Most most people who who do go sign a deal, they don't want to read a contract. Nah, hell no, nah, because niggas be coming from the hood and niggas need that money, man. When you fucked up, you just you try to get that money. <laughs> they don't even they don't even tell you all the extra shit. That's why when you sign labels, you're supposed to come with a lawyer or come with people that know the business of the music. You don't want to just sign. Like you got to have some important people with you that know it. Know what's in them contracts? Facts. And the music industry mad rigged anyway. Yeah, it's, it's super rigged. But that's why yeah. I say, like, if you sign a deal, if you sign a deal that's the right deal, then that shit is out the window. Like me personally, me knowing the behind the scenes of this shit and knowing like the things you got to do to get to the top, I wouldn't sign like no crazy ass fucking. Like my shit got to make sense. Like I got to be full in control of my music. I don't want nobody in control of my shit telling me when and when I can't drop. And... <laughs> yeah, I ain't fucking with all that. I want to be able to do what I want when I want with my music. Anything other than that, I'm cool. That's that's the truth right there. Because most look at the, all these artists now. They got a little Uzi Vert. Look yeah. at uh, what's his name? Wild Wildfire Funeral. He, he don't release nothing. They be fucked over, man. Them, them, that's why they be acting crazy on the internet. Fucking doing all that crazy satanic shit. <laughs> Trying to sell their fucking music. Half the time, they don't even want to do that shit, but they know that's what these labels be setting them up to do in order to sell their they music. Especially nowadays, because everybody's like sales is declining. Nobody's really selling music. The problem ain't getting paid or either. It's all fucking. Definitely. Of course not. Hell no. Nah. The them two yeah, people is not. They not getting paid at all. Like they're getting portions of what they're really supposed to be making. True. Yeah. It's whack out here. Is it whack out here? Yeah. Shoot. Definitely out here. Yeah. Uh, who's the top good artists out there you know and you enjoy listening to? You enjoy listening to? Um, man. Shit, I've been listening to a lot of different shit lately. Recently, I've been listening to a lot of, like, turnt stuff because just because just that's, like, what I like to listen to when I go to the gym or, like, when I'm just starting my day. Like, I like to listen to a lot of turnt music. I've been listening to a lot of older music as well, though. Yeah, I've been listening to like a lot of like old school, like Tupac shit. Um, this old, this slower shit. You know what I mean? I, I'm just, I just have an ear for music, but I listen to pretty much them to anything. Um, it's this new guy out, Boss Man D Lo. I've been listening to Boss Man D Lo. That should be having me turned up in the gym. Kevin Gates. Yeah. Yeah, I be tapping into pretty much everybody.